There are other specialized schools, but most of the city's high schools offer general academic courses that prepare their students for the university. In these schools, the arts and literature, languages and mathematics, science and history are all combined in a balanced four-year curriculum. facilities for keeping bodies in good shape, growing bodies that need exercise after long days in the classroom. But all the schoolwork is not done within its walls. We have seen life come into the classroom. This is the classroom going out to meet life. Today, it's a question of fire prevention. The boys of the social science class are tabulating buildings with poor or crowded fire escapes. By dealing with actual problems, problems that the boys of this particular neighborhood know only too well, the students get a sense of the reality of their studies. They are learning to analyze and solve difficulties that affect their own lives. The bird's eye view turns into a sketch the sketch into a plan, the plan into a project. And soon we've got a good stiff argument on our hands. How many kids do you think live in that square block? Fifty? A hundred? You tell them, Pete. Pete can tell them. He checked every family. The answer is three hundred. And that means more playground space is sorely needed. They may argue about details, but it isn't only housing these youngsters are learning about. They're learning how to think on their feet, how to make and defend their arguments, how to talk like men. Because of these classes, the New York City high schools have been called Academies of Practical Democracy. The boys were ready for the next general meeting of the school, the weekly assembly for entertainment and serious discussion. spiritual is only a preliminary to the real business of the day. These youngsters have been taught that in a democracy, they have a right to do something about the conditions of their life and their security. They are learning how to exercise that right. They are ready to formulate their opinions on the size and location of the homes they must live in, on the playgrounds for the kids and their families, playgrounds that their own kids will use one day. The members of the social science class report to their comrades. We call this meeting to discuss a problem of vital importance to you and to your community. This is not the first time that our school has taken an active part in the community around us. Six years ago, our school helped in the campaign to bring us better housing. Our boys worked hard they did the work of researchers, compilers, and finally, propagandists. Yes, the boys took their information and ideas to the people of the neighborhood. They got the attention they deserved. And then the normal machinery of democracy went into action. You can see the houses today from the windows of the school. Families are living in them. They're real. 
just as today's dreams will be reality tomorrow. The youngsters will make them real. The youngsters who are now in the city schools. For education gives the city to the kids. They are learning how to live in the city, to understand it, to get the most out of its facility. But most important, their education is giving them the ability to change it, to make it a better place to live in. For it is the New York of the future that will truly reflect what is going on in the schools today. Free progressive education is one way of doing something about a better tomorrow.